PeachTools.com. Hey, today I want to have a bit of a rant about plasma cutter safety tips, you know? Little bits and pieces that you can do to save yourself from going blind and getting skin cancer and that sort of thing. When I was a young fella and I was doing this sort of stuff, I didn't really take much notice of the safety gear, but anyway, I'm still, uh, I'm still living to tell you the tale, but I wouldn't do it again the way I used to do it. Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, let's get into this, eh? See what I always used to think, guys, was you only really needed, like, your eye protection and skin protection when you were uh, MIG welding or you were arc welding, because the intensity of the flash is a lot brighter than what it is when you're plasma cutting. See, I'll show you. Yeah, that's really bright, eh? It's just, um, it's a lot brighter than when you're, uh, when you're using your plasma cutter. But even so, you've got to wear some stuff when you're using your plasma cutter as well. I never used to, eh? And uh, I've come to regret it over the years. This is no good for your eyes, and it's really not good for your skin. Even to have a mild flash, like your plasma cutter gives, let alone this, you wouldn't even attempt to do this sort of stuff, arc welding or mid welding like this, if you haven't got some sort of eye protection and skin protection, you'd be asking for trouble. You might as well have a sign wrapped around your head saying, come and get me, I'm ready to die, I reckon. <laughs> so guys, what I just use when I'm MIG welding is just a standard, you know, auto darkening helmet. They're as cheap as chips, you can buy them anywhere. I'll chuck some links down below if you want to have a look, but you can buy the bloody things anywhere. They're not worth anything. For the sake of your eyeballs, you know, 35 bucks, just get one of these. It's really not worth the aggravation to do anything sort of different, you know. I wouldn't dare try uh, welding without one of these. So I have done it once and I got terrible welding flash. Have a look up the top there, I've got a video about some home remedies for welding flash if you want to have a look at that. And uh, even once in my life, guys, believe it or not, I uh, did a bit of welding, a bit of arc welding when I first started. I didn't have a helmet, I was a young fella, you know, going back 150 years when I was young. And uh, I actually looked for a couple of beer bottles, believe it or not, because I didn't have a shade on my eyes. How crazy is that? I check out the top, I'll put that video up there too if you want to have a look at that, have a bit of a giggle, and say to yourself how stupid was this guy. But anyway, and uh, I'd also just get some cheap welding gloves. These are about six bucks or something a pair, these welding gloves. Cheap as chips, and it just saves your uh, skin going all banky like mine. See that? <laughs> yeah, but um, to tell you the truth, I don't really like using these for the simple reason that they're too thick and I can't really control the trigger. But that's more an issue for me rather than uh, the gloves being no good. Anyway guys, we'll do a bit of plasma cutting now and I'll show you the difference in the intensity of the light that you don't really need as heavy gear as what you're doing with your arc or your uh, MIG or TIG welding but you're still going to need um, something to protect your eyes and stuff anyway even if it's just to protect stuff from flying in your eyes, you know but you will get welder's flash from plasma cutting if you do it for long enough and you have no light protection at all trust me guys, you don't want to get welding flash, it sucks big time so if we do a bit of plasma cutting, I'll show you the difference in the sort of the amount of light coming off between your uh, MIG torch and your plasma cutter torch. This is nowhere near as, as intense as what the MIG torch is, but you're still going to need something to uh, cover your eyes from my protection, because uh, you can get welding flash from this if you use it for long enough, when you look like hard enough at it, if you know what I mean. And also, I don't really like these gloves. This is my personal opinion when, you, when I'm plasma cutting. They're too thick and they just don't feel right. That's why some of my videos, well most of my videos actually you see me working without gloves. But that's my own stupid fault. I mean, uh, that's got nothing to do with the safety gear. It's just the way I've sort of been over the years. Anyway, so in other words, don't take any notice what that idiot Pete does, not wearing gloves. Make sure you guys wear gloves. Anyway, we'll cut this and see what happens. See how that light's nowhere near as intense. Piece of cake. Nowhere near as intense as what it is when it's uh, MIG welding. And yeah, you don't get used to these, eh? It's just, you know, I'm a funny old coot. <laughs> so when you're plasma cutting, guys, just make sure you wear some gloves of some description. And when you choose your gloves, right, get some gloves that come up and go into your sleeves like that. And not only stops the sparks from coming up and burning your arms, it also protects it so you don't get the light coming here and giving you like sunburn, you know, like welding flash on the skin, because that really sucks too. You don't want to do that, that's the start of sort of skin cancer. So if you have your gloves and you have them come all the way up here, you now it might look a bit silly, but just trust me, it'll work. Even if you haven't got any long gloves, just make sure that you've got a long sleeve shirt on and make sure it's not polyester because it'll burn and uh, pull it down like that and put your gloves, make sure your gloves are made up to it. And also, don't do what I did when I was younger and go MIG welding and all the rest of it, just wearing a t-shirt because that sucks as well. 
because you get all sorts of skin burned and it's just ugly and horrible. When I'm plasma cutting, I don't use a uh, full face helmet like this because I find it's too awkward. I just use some glasses like that and uh, you may have noticed, or you may not have noticed, but I wear glasses and these protective glasses can fit over the top of your glasses. So not only do you look as cool as me, <laughs> then uh, you can actually see what you're doing because your glasses are still on underneath them. And I reckon that's really cool. That's one of the advantages of these. So when you get old and decrepit like Pete, remember, just use some of these. It's a lot easier than trying to fit your head in this with when you're wearing glasses. And these are as cheap as chips as well, guys. I think they're about 10 bucks, 11 bucks or something. I mean, what's 11 bucks for your eyesight? Nothing. I'll drop a link down below if you want to buy some. But I just use these. They're real easy. Real easy to put on and off. Yeah, and like I say, you look cool as well. <laughs> so, guys, that's my waffle for the day. Pete, safety tips on plasma cutting. So remember, just for sake of some cheap glasses and some cheap gloves, just you know, wear the stuff and you'll live to fight for another day. Anyway guys, that's enough for me for the time being. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, check out Pete'sTools.com. Uh, I've got a whole lot of good shit there you can go and have a look at, and it's all for free, guys. Anyway, catch you next time. See ya. Pete'sTools.com. Pete's